In this tutorial, we're going to look at another example of a closure. This time, we're going to make reference to anonymous function. I have Firefox loaded up here, and I'm using the Firebug extension of Firefox. I'm sure you're familiar with it. And I'm in the script portion of Firebug. And what I have here is I have breakpoints set on my function. So I've actually, I've already loaded this test.html, but because I have these breakpoints set, um, this uh, function has been stopped from running and we can click right here or push F11 to step into the function and we're going to step through it bit by bit and see what's going on. So go ahead and do the same. Uh, set your breakpoints here. It doesn't matter if you set too many breakpoints because this is only going to stop um, where there's an action in the function anyways like like document.write or something like that. And um, let's take a look at our variable here. Variable addition is set to a fun anonymous function, which takes one parameter a, and then we're writing out a, and then we're returning another anonymous function, which takes one parameter b, and then we're doing some stuff right here. So um, let's start stepping through this and see what happens. So first thing down here, um, var add to is being set to this function and we're passing in a 2. So let's see what happens there. And you can just watch this yellow arrow here to follow it. So first it's going to write out A and then what it's going to do is it's going to return this function, return the anonymous function back to the variable add 2. So we're performing this action and then we're returning the nested function to var add to. Okay, and then it jumps out of it. Next one is var add 10 is set to the addition function passing in a 10. And we write out the 10 and then same thing we returned that nested function to add 10. Right now we're going down to the closure, so um, here we have add to, so remember add to was set to that nested function inside, and that nested function takes a parameter. So we can now, um, because this add to was set to a function that was returned to it, we can pass in a parameter which is the 3. Okay. So what this closure is going to do is it's going to add 2 plus 3. Let's see how that works. So you can see the first thing it did was um, was it went straight to this function b and the things it has to do in here. Because um, this was, remember, this, var, this add to variable was set to this nested function. So when we invoke it in our global scope here and we pass in um, the parameter of 3, then it's going to run this function passing in the 3. Now, the first part is probably the most interesting part because it needs to, it needs to write out a, but we didn't pass in a. We passed in uh, we passed in b of course, which is a three. So b is three. If I hold it over, you can actually see it. Um, you can see the three there, and if I hold it over a, it can see that it's two. So even though I didn't pass in the two here, um, it already has the two because the two is the two is stored inside this whole scope here. So it already has access to the 2 and now we're passing in 3 and now it's going to be able to do uh, 2 plus 3 addition. So first we're going to write out 2 and then we're going to write out b variable which is 3 and then we're going to add them together and we get 5. Um, this next one right here um, if you do it like this, if you do addition and then params, put the 2 in there and the 3, what this is going to do is going to invoke both the outer and inner functions. Um, so this is not really the point of this tutorial because the idea of a closure is to invoke a function um, from a scope that's different than the scope that the um, function was declared in. But um, it's interesting to watch any anyways so we can we're going to invoke both the outer and inner functions here. So let's step through that. And of course it goes up here, 
and we output A, and then we go back down to here in order to invoke the second part, and then we start doing the things there too. If, we, if I pull this down, two, three, five. And we'll keep stepping through. Now we go down to the last closure, which is add 10, and we're passing in a 5. And we'll step into that, and we get a 10, and then a 5, and then 15. Thanks for watching.